as the president-elect, Donald Trump has repeated his pledge to shake up Washington. And a big league part of that includes a proposed constitutional amendment would impose term limits on all members of Congress. Bloomberg's Kevin Whitelaw has more on how that might play out on Capitol Hill. Donald Trump talked a lot about draining the swamp during his presidential campaign, and one of the elements of that proposal was to uh, impose term limits on Congress. Uh, this would include, uh, he said, six-year limits on House members, that'd be three terms, and 12-year limits on senators, which would mean two terms. This will be a lot harder to actually implement, though, and it's actually not something he's talked about as much, or if at all, since he actually won the election. The last time Congress actually looked at term limits was back in 1995. This was after the Supreme Court said it is not constitutional to impose term limits on members of Congress. The only vote that resulted in a majority fell well short of the two-thirds majority needed to actually advance the constitutional amendment to the Senate. Uh, another similar result the following year, and it's never been tried since. The fact of the matter is, most members don't want term limits. Having said that, if he decides to make that one of his signature uh, pushes and decides to go for the grassroots campaign, it might be pretty awkward for Republicans to ignore. There is a real warning, though, for people who watch government closely. They say you have to be very careful about imposing something like term limits. What you actually could end up doing is increasing the power, not decreasing the power of lobbyists. That's because members who are in office for less time tend to need to rely more on the help of outsiders, usually paid lobbyists, as opposed to people who've been in Congress a long time and have developed some serious expertise of their own. Donald Trump has also banned registered state and federal lobbyists from serving in his administration. For executive branch officials, Trump also has decreed a five-year lobbying ban and a lifetime ban on advising foreign governments. Trump has also floated the idea of a government-wide hiring freeze. So, John, how do swamp draining advocates view these moves, and will they really make a difference? I don't know about what the swamp draining advocates think, but I know what I think. Um, I'm, I think all the lobbying stuff um, is good. Are you pro-drain? I'm, I'm pro-drain and I'm, I'm anti-lobbyist. I think all that stuff is great. I'm all for it. I think the term limits idea is bad and wrong and unconstitutional. I don't think it'll get anywhere and I don't think it's the right oh, thing to do. If it's a constitutional amendment, it won't be unconstitutional. Well, it, yes. I think, I, I, I think it's, it's bad for democracy. I'm, I'm for, I have, I, you know, there's a perfectly you good... You don't think term limits we have, have worked in the states? We have, two, we have term limits. They work out really well. They have the battle box every time. People can go in and just vote those people out. So we should fix campaign finance reform there's other things to do there but I'm not for it I don't think it'll pass I think it's interesting you know people think that say that Trump is a you know the, the, the Trump skeptics I, I often ask them like why is he doing these things is it pure symbolism or does he believe it? because of course Trump has been an employer of lobbyists for decades yeah, sure and has used lobbyists very effectively so it's going to be interesting to see the Clinton uh, the Obama White House yeah. and the Clinton White House both had some limits on lobbyists yeah. and they uh, they allowed there to be exceptions. Yes, many, and, they, and then they many granted exceptions. exceptions. So many exceptions. it'll be interesting to see if Trump starts to have exceptions to these things because you do lose people. Yes. Lobbying, is, lobbying is protected by the First Amendment. I, I, I'm know? all for it, but that's yeah. not, that doesn't mean yeah. you have to let him work in government. Yeah. But it's going to be interesting to see if they really enforce this vigorously. Um, people thought Trump would have trouble recruiting people into government. Right. And he really hasn't. As, yeah. I mean, obviously some people Less. have said no. But he's, he's gotten, you know, Dina Powell, who we both know, an incredibly respected former Bush administration official. Maybe the best hire he's made. Worked in Goldman Sachs. She went in. Tillerson, go, you know, yeah. leaving Exxon going in. Uh, Mattis. He's gotten some really good people to go into to agree to work in his government. And I think, I think that these kind of restrictions sometimes deter that. But in this case, he's getting good people, and that's, and that's good. Look, it doesn't, this, this stuff is small. Term limits will never pass. I don't, I, I'm a little bit less against it than you are, though I am against it. But I think that the, 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 the evidence will be pretty quick in coming. By the end of the first year, we'll be able to look around Washington and say, has this stuff actually made a difference in having government move, and the point of these, less towards special interests and more towards working class real Americans? We'll know after a year or less.